Hello, I'm David Wiseman. I'm the creator of DBA Dash, an open source monitoring tool for SQL Server that can track performance, configuration, and be used for daily DBA checks. The purpose of this video is to go through the installation process to help you get started quickly using DBA Dash. I'm going to do a brief description of the application architecture, then take you from download to installation. Let's get started. The DBA Dash agent runs as a Windows service. The purpose of the service is to collect data from your monitored SQL Server instances and store that data in a central repository database. To configure this agent, we'll use the service configuration tool. Here, we'll set the connection to the DBA Dash repository database, and we'll also use this tool to add the source connections that we want to monitor. Also included is a GUI tool for reporting. This only connects to the DBA Dash repository database. There's no con direct connectivity between the GUI application and your monitored SQL Server instances. We might also have SQL instances that we need to monitor that don't have direct connectivity back to the DBA Dash repository database. In this scenario, we can configure a remote DBA Dash agent to have a destination a connection as an S3 bucket. This agent will push its data to the S3 bucket. On the local DBA Dash agent, we can have the S3 bucket as a source connection. This agent will pull the data from the S3 bucket and push it into our DBA Dash repository database, establishing connectivity between these two environments. Now time for the demo. We're going to download DBA Dash from GitHub. We'll select to download the latest release. The package that we need is the one labelled DBA Dash. There's another package labelled DBA Dash GUI. This just includes the GUI application for deployment of the front end. The one that we need is labelled DBA Dash. This includes the GUI and the service. The other packages just include the source code. I'm going to start by extracting the files. I'm going to start by running the DBA Dash service configuration tool. The first step is set, uh, to set a connection to the DBA Dash repository database. We'll select the server name and a name for our repository database. Click connect. We'll get a little notification here that reminds us that we need to deploy the, the database. You can either click deploy update database to deploy the database manually or you can wait for the database to be created when the service is started. The next thing we need to do is add, to add some source connections. Click to add a source connection, and click connect. There's also some additional settings that we can enable. I'm going to enable a setting here for slow query capture. This creates an extended event. Uh, the default is to capture queries that take longer than a second to run. I'm also going to click the other tab. Uh, there's an option to collect plans for running queries that we can enable. Another option we might want to enable is to enable schema snapshots for databases. You can enter a comma separated list of databases that you want to create a schema snapshot for. Or you can click all, which uh, is uh, an asterisk character. You need to be quite careful with this setting because if you have uh, a large number of databases uh, the agent might have a, a hard time collecting data for, for hundreds of databases. Um, you also need to be careful if you have databases that have very large numbers of tables. Uh, you would want to exclude these from the schema snapshots. I'm going to enable schema sna snapshots for this database. Click add update and we have our first source connection. To add the rest of our source connections, I'm just going to paste in a list of server names and click Add Update. We get a little warning here because uh, some of the instances I've specified here are older servers uh, running 
2008. Uh, these don't support the slow query capture. Click save. Now we're ready to start our service. To install DVA Dash as a Windows service, click install the service. Click install and enter the username and password. The security requirements for the service user are listed on the GitHub documentation. Click OK. The service installation is now complete. Click Start to start the service and create the repository database. While that's running, in the DBA Dash installation folder, there's a logs folder, and this contains the, the service log. If we open the log, we can see what the service has been doing. If we go back to our DBA Dash service config tool, if we click refresh, the service should now be started. That's the installation completed. If we go back to our DBA Dash folder, you're now ready to run the GUI application. If you didn't want to install as a service, you can also run the DBA Dash service as console application by running the DBA Dash service exe. We're going to run the GUI now. You can see that we have the, the GUI with our monitored instances and our summary page here uh, to show the latest uh, checks. In the checks tree here, we can go to the DBA Dash error log and see if there's been any errors with the data collections. What we can also do is click the collection dates, select OK from the filter drop down, and now we can see uh, when the data was collected from our SQL Server instances for, for each of the collections. That ends this uh, tutorial. I hope you find DBA Dash useful.